hello there. How are you? I'm doing great. And welcome back to another monster video. That's right. We are back. Back in action. And uh, let me start out by saying, wow, this took forever. <laughs> uh, simple as that. So, so far, so good. I'm cruising along. There's still some changes that need to be done. I feel like this needs a little bit of work and stuff like that. But, yeah. So, this is like one quarter of it. I had to go get some cows. I was running out of food. And I'm not completely sold on this. I might need to do a little something something there. And then we got kind of the same, pretty much the exact same over here. So, yeah. That took many hours. And I show it to you in all of, what, two minutes? <laughs> oh, what can you do, hey? But, yeah, so some cool funky things that I've been doing is the chisel stone frame glass is the glass in here using the connected textures. Get out of here. Where'd you get that coal? I hate those little guys. Look at this. They're going to throw zombies at me. And this guy can shoot. Come on. Spider jockey, really? Come on. Alright, let's do this. Come on. You got a bow too. Oh, really? And you blinded me? Holy cow. These mobs do not mess around. Voila. Um... Yeah, so I definitely need to do a little bit of work as well on the inside. It's pretty flat. I'm probably going to add a few a few more layers to it. You know, really jazz it up on this side. Similar to how it looks up there. Just adding multiple layers will do a lot more to everything. Um, across the board. Man, I'm losing my armor. So... Yeah, it's coming along pretty good. I'm pretty happy. But this should give you a pretty good idea of the scope we're talking about here. What the? He's got a fishing rod? <laughs> That's awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> he had a fishing rod. <laughs> oh. The fun things, eh? Uh, so... <laughs> Let's do some work. I want to just show you guys uh, over here some of the stuff that I've been doing uh, outside of that. Okay. Bow. You. And the fish can go in there for right now. Okay. So I added the flux capacitors to my shovel and... Shovel? What? That's interesting. Shovel and axe, anyways. And I added the beheading to my sword. Just to improve it a little bit. Sadly, I can't upgrade this pick at all. Unless I get a nether star. Because it's already got everything fully loaded. But, what can you do, right? Um, I don't know why I have this concrete cooking up. Oh yeah, because I was grinding up cobblestone. I set up this igneous extruder to automatically fill up this barrel so I never run out of cobblestone. Pretty straightforward. And over here, as you can see, I have loads of barrels. And I wanted to show you my quick fix. Uh, basically underneath this barrel, see right there, I have a, another transfer node. And that is pulling the sapling that I choose and running it into the planter over here. So a pretty easy fix. Just separated the lines and called her a day. Pretty straightforward. So now any and all saplings go into their designated barrel. 
and then from there they go and fill up the planter as room fills up. Uh, other than that, I've just been adding barrels just because it's easier at this point in time than upgrading them or anything like that. So I'll just keep adding as I need. I'm probably going to disable it soon though, uh, just temporarily, because I have, you know, two, three stacks of both wood and a ton of apples, which is good. So, yeah. Uh, pretty good. I think this gives you a pretty good idea of the scope that I'm looking at for my base. Uh, this is going to be basically the main level. And then we're going to have a hard challenge uh, decorating the interior. But if we can pull it off, I think it's going to be awesome. And it's going to go quite a bit higher. Uh, this is just the first level. So, uh, it's going to take me a lot of time. But I know you guys are here and you're going to support me throughout it. And we can build it kind of together. So I really like this section here and how it's all turned out. I'm not a huge fan. I don't mind this part here. But this part here is just extra fluff. Uh, as you can see. And I think I'm going to get rid of it. You know, I was playing around a little bit and I didn't really like having you know the oak wood like that and then the uh, oak planks there but I do I don't I still don't like that but I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do um, maybe just dress it up a little bit fancy it up like, already it looks quite a bit better with that actually cut out, I feel. Uh, my only issue or concern at this point is machines. Now, if I have this as my main area for, you know, most of my general workspace, I might put them all in the middle and pretty much leave the outside as the outside so it could be quite decorative and by that I mean we could really jazz it up with some enhancements so let's just do this let's get some of these and I want to get some of these right okay so, other than not having enough bar space, we're good to go. <laughs> you know, that's one thing that the modders haven't done yet. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We definitely need to jazz all this up quite a bit. Uh, this section seems pretty dry to me. Maybe we can do a little bit of an enhancement. Or maybe we almost do the same thing that's on the outside, on the inside. Let's see how that would go. So that would go like that. You know, it might just work. Something like that. We could do the blue cyans there and there. Lighting in this thing will probably be a pain in the butt. Yeah. Let's see what th what this entails. Um, let's roll with it for right now. See where it leads me. I don't have any more of those. That's okay. Like so. It's not bad. I might. Maybe we can do a duplicate of it, but not exact. And yes, these are cyan colored redstone lamps. So, what if instead of those, we do this? Uh, Like 
so let's just get out of wisp mode here. I'm so used to being in it, I've, I'm actually, I think, more used to this perspective than the regular one now. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, I think we have to do it like that. So that's not too, too bad. And then if we switch this, let's see. Maybe to... Just a wooden spruce like that. Definitely adds a decent amount of detail that I like. Um, I'm thinking we'll need something bigger here though. Let's see. Need some more fences. So I hope you guys are liking uh, everything that's going on on the channel. I've been playing just a ton. I have a lot of inspiration when it comes to um, this base. I really, really want to see this one completely through. This stone needs a lot of work. I don't mind that at all. Let's duplicate it over here. Like so. I feel like it actually boxes it in quite nicely. And because we aren't putting any machines over here, we don't actually require it to be all that functional. And then if we put some lights in like that, and maybe, uh, maybe give it one of these. If we can. Ooh, this might be difficult. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Why isn't that working? Okay. Hmm. Dang stairs, I tell ya. Okay. Maybe even like that, we could probably pull that off. Yeah, that looks not bad. And then we get just a little splash of, oops, that's not my shovel, the light coming through. And for that, we need a couple levers, like so. Now, I hope you guys like this episode. I know it's not normally what I do, but I figured I'd include you guys in my design a little bit. We'll do a little building together and go from there. Yeah, that looks not bad. I like having the little blue fleck. That's pretty good. Okay. We're coming along. Um, now, what to do in this area? What can you do in a too wide section? Let's think about it. We could bring it out. That's a definite possibility. So we have some of that, right? And what if we do 
something like this with a little bit of and then we do no not that but maybe we bring some of this in it It's not bad, and then we could even go one further. Come on. Nope. Oh, I can't get in there. Ooh. Something like that. Then another stair. That's not too, too bad. I don't hate that. Um, the problem with it might be that I might need something like this on the other side. Yeah, it won't look right on the other side. Okay. Definitely going to spruce it all up with more stairs, though. Definitely going to need some more of those. Okay. I kind of like what this is doing, though. This is, this is a good vibe. I really like it. This window, I still, I think, have to change. But, overall, I'm, I'm liking what I've done so far. I'm quite happy with that. I'll have to figure out this section a little bit. Um, one solution is, I mean, there's shrubbery. You could put shrubs or bushes and trees and stuff like that in here. Uh, let's jump back into wisp form. There we go. And then up here... Let's do a little, a little bit different. I'm just going to close that in. And let's put down a little bit of dirt. You know what? That might just work. Okay, so if I do this... Um, and then I'll do something there. Don't worry. Is that going to work? That's not going to work. Okay, so let's do it from up here. Okay. Alrighty, and then we'll bring that down. And I want to kind of hide this, eh? So let's do it like this. Yeah, that looks better. Do I want that oak to stick out like that? Uh, maybe not. So, I mean, I can definitely just fix that right like that. And maybe we'll change this up a little bit. Bring it a little lower and splash it up. That's pretty good. I like this little nook. It's, I think I, I think I like that. Okay, so let's duplicate it here. Just like everything in Minecraft, you know, it's a little bit about symmetry sometimes. I'm not building a tree or anything like that, so we are definitely talking about synergy and symmetry. 
But once I get these done, I can go through and I can duplicate them that much easier on the other side. There we go. Okay, and I had this, 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 and this. Right? Perfect. Yeah, I think that looks pretty darn sharp. And, you know, I mean, I can even do something like this off the sides. And from there, I could do more fence posts. So let's see how that looks. Really? Get lost. Okay, we got some fence posts. We could also maybe look at some different colored fence posts. That's a possibility. But from there, what if we do that? And then from here, we would maybe add Something like that. It's not bad. I kind of wish this wasn't touching, though. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that leads to the outside. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like how this is. The way it is. So, we'll leave that for now. Um, I could maybe, I don't know if this works. Let's give it a try. Oops, I need a tool. Okay, so I don't want that fence post to touch. So we can do a quick little micro block test here. There we go, that'll work perfect. So on the outside, it is going to look like a full block, but on the inside, it is not. Come on. Get in the right spot. There we go. Come on, you little guy. Let's fly around. Might work better. Okay, so I don't want that like that. I want it like that. And it'll give a little bit of an extra detail as well. We'll do that there. Now you get this nice little L cove. So let me do the same here, one and one. We're going to do the fence posts up to one lower. And then the oak, the stairs, etc. Okay, pretty solid. I think we've done some pretty darn good work here today. Um, on the base, getting things done, I think it's been really good, really productive, and yeah, I think that's about it. There we go. There we go. So using these forge micro blocks, you can definitely get yourself some neat shapes. But you have to be careful, because each one of those ends up being, I believe, an entity. So be careful, 
they can lag your world a little bit. Um, so you don't want to use them too, too often. But small little details like that shouldn't be too big of a problem. But yeah, so we've kind of jazzed up the place a little bit here. I think that's pretty decent progress. Um, I'm going to play around with a few more things. Let's do that. And, you know, we'll come back to more stuff. Uh, I'm going to do some additional... Uh, whatchamacallit, we're going to be doing another project uh, next episode, and I'm going to keep working on the base as well. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of this episode, and I'll see you in... Oh, and let me know what you think on the base so far, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.